Hello friends, today we will see how to interface Arduino with LDR light dependent resistor or photo resistor in Tinkercad. For that reason, go to Tinkercad, log in to your account, then click on circuits, then click on create new circuit. It will open new blank window for interfacing purpose. From this, select Arduino. Then we will be requiring one LED. Connect that LED to pin number 13. And another end to ground. Now, we will take LDR sensor, go to all components, then there will be photo registers. So select this photo registers. Now the connection will be like this. It will be connected to this end will be connected to your 5 volt that is it has two terminals photo register or LDR sensor will have two terminals. First terminal will be connected to your 5 volt. Then second terminal will be connected to your let's say A0 pin. So we are connecting this second terminal to A0 pin. Now we need to give ground pin. So we will be requiring one resistor to connect with ground pin like this. Connect that second terminal to register and it will be connected to your ground pin like this. This is how we have done the connection with LDR sensor or you can say photo sensor to Arduino. We will be requiring one LED and one LDR sensor registers and cable. Now connection is ready. Our next task is to write the code. So for that purpose, click on the code, then text, remove all the text. We have our code. So use this code. Now what we have done in this code is, we have declared two variables. First one is your LED pin which is connected to your pin number 13. Then we have one variable LDR pin which is for A0 which is already connected here. Now we will write setup function. In that setup function we have set the baud rate as 9600. Now we want to set input and output pins. So for that purpose pin mode function is used. In that pin mode function first of all we will use LED pin that is pin number 13 for output purpose and LDR pin that is A0 will be used for input purpose. That means what? We are going to receive the input from LDR pin and we are going to display the output on LED pin. That's why this pin mode function is used with these two particular pins. Now in second function that is your void loop function we are going to check the LDR status. So we are going to declare one another variable of type integer. LDR status is equals to analog read in bracket LDR pin. As this LDR sensor is your analog sensor. So we are going to use analog read function for reading the value from this particular pin. And this function will return 
the current status of LDR sensor in LDR status integer variable. Now, what we need to do is if the value of that intensity or LDR sensor will go beyond, let's say, any threshold value, then the LED will be turned off. If the threshold value will be below that, oh, sorry, if the LDR status value will be the below of threshold value, then LED should be turned on. So that is what we have written here. What we have written is in if loop, LDR status is less than 500, LED will be turned on and we are going to display what is the current light intensity is with the help of this print function of serial. And if this LDR status value will go beyond 500, then LED will be turned off and it will going to display the light intensity value. This is what the code we have written for this particular LDR sensor. Now we will try to execute this code and we will see the output of this photo register or LDR sensor, how it will be executing. So for that purpose, click on start simulation. The simulation is started. You can see on the serial monitor, the current light intensity is six. That is the light intensity is very low. That's why that LED will be turned on means actual light will get turned on. Now click on this LDR sensor. It will show you this intensity bar. Now slowly move this. You can see on this real monitor, the value is changed. Now it is 379 over here. Now again, move it up to let's say beyond 500. So we will come to know that the current value is 526. That means it crosses this 500 and it goes into else and LED will be turned off. And you can see here that LED is turned off right now because the current light intensity is greater than 500. That means it crosses threshold value. That's why it comes to the else part and it will go into execute this one means LED will be turned off and it will going to show the current light intensity value as 526. Now again, try to change this go below the 500. Now it is for, let's say 464. So it is less than or equal to 500. That's why LED is turned on because of this digital write function. This is how this LDR sensor or we can say photo register will work to control the lights on the basis of current light intensity. Thank you.